As you can see, this store is converting 11.2% of their traffic into emails with a simple pop-up form. In this video, I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to build your Shopify list by converting 8% or more of your web traffic into leads for your store. Listen, just having a spin wheel nowadays isn't good enough to convert a large percentage of your web traffic into leads. You need to have an attractive offer pop up at the right time to minimize bounce rates for your website and also maximize lead conversion. And to do that, you'll need a high converting pop up form. I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. So I'm going to hop into a screen share real quick and I'll show you how to build one in Klaviyo. Now I'm going to show you exactly how to create a high converting pop up form so that you too can convert between 8 to 13% of your traffic into leads. So what you want to go do is you want to go to sign up forms. And before you even begin, you need to make sure the code snippet is installed correctly. So make sure you can see this once you click install code snippet. If you can't, a really easy way to do this would just be going on to integrations and then going on to Shopify and make sure you have automatically add Klaviyo onsite JavaScript ticked. Once that's ticked, it's all good to go. So you want to obviously go to create a sign up form. And then you want to find a template that works for your brand. Personally, I recommend anything with just the email address, no first name, email, and then phone number and things like that. The more fields you add, the lower the conversion rate will be. Uh, so let's just do something real simple for the sake of this uh, video demonstration. So you want to go to pop up and make sure it's desktop and mobile as well. And then let's, uh, let's use something like this one right here. So you make sure to subscribe them to the correct list. Once that's all done, you want to go to uh, create. And then what you want to do is you want to go to behaviors. And then this is the thing that, that I see most people screw up on straight away is it shows immediately upon page load. This will not only decrease the conversion rate of your form, but also increase the bounce rate of your website because a pop up form is designed to be intrusive. It's designed to kind of like grab the web visitors attention. So you want to click loading display. Personally, I just uh, we select all three and then we test each variable. So show how many seconds typically we go for anywhere between six to kind of like 12 actually no six to 14 and you can kind of play around with that uh, you can set this to 50 percent the sweet spot typically is anything above 40 percent once that's all done you want to make sure to uh, not show again after say something like um, you could play around with this again. Again, it's between seven to kind of 28 days. And once that's all sorted, you want to then customize the styles accordingly. And when you're done with that, click live and publish. And that's all done for you. So now that you guys know how to build a high converting pop-up form and the exact triggers to use within Klaviyo, I'm going to go over just a few best practices that will help you get there in the quickest way possible. So first of all, initially you want to be split testing two kinds of offers. One offer is a percentage discount offer. So that would be things like 10, 15, 20% discount, or you want to test a non-discount or non-monetary saving offer such as a lead magnet. So that could be in the form of an ebook or maybe some sort of video series for your audience to see which one converts. My guess is the discount is always going to outperform the lead magnet unless in very kind of specific cases. From our experience, it's always best to use a percentage discount. The reason this is, is because once they are enrolled into your welcome flow, that incentivizes them to purchase straight away. And if they purchase straight away, then they overcome the biggest hurdle, which is becoming your first time buyer. And from there on, the email marketing system should be designed to increase their lifetime value as a customer to you. After you determine what your best offer is, then you can start split testing things like image creatives, copy, and various other things like button colors and all of that minor stuff. So yeah, after you do that, and after rigorous testing, you should have a very high converting pop-up form converting 8% or more of your traffic into leads for your store. Now, if that sounds a bit complicated, I totally get it and you want help with it, and you're a store that's doing $10,000 a month consistently in monthly recurring revenue or more, book in a call with me down below and I know for a fact that my agency can help. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great week.